Hey everybody, I'm going to do a basic patch to explore how to use my anti-oscillator with my new Quadrax expander. Right now I just have a basic drone patch with the anti-oscillator to my VCA. So on these you have these different modes. I'm just going to put it, I'm going to go through each mode demo real quick. Uh, put these on a default mode as an envelope. Put these all at 12 o'clock or so. All right, put these all at 12. Do a real quick demo and show you how cool this is. Um, and so I'm going to take a patch cable, put it, uh, patch it to my, from my, I'm going to patch it from the uh, trigger input. So the first trigger input on my Quadrax, you can trigger it with a sequencer or gates or whatnot. And I'm going to take the um, trigger. Uh, to my variegate 4. I did it earlier with my LFOs and that was fine. So put this in track mode and just put this all here. Put that here and then I'm going to take a, another patch cable and I'm going to patch the output from uh, Quadrax uh, output 1 into the 1V octave so I can effect modulate the pitch of my oscillator. Let's do that, and let's turn this back on. Hear how that sounds. Nothing exciting yet. Um, I'm going to snap my gate to my So that's not too exciting. Right? So that's not exciting. But what if we take as a trigger an LFO and see how it works? So I'm going to take trigger or score wave on my Batumi and I'm going to. So it doesn't do much. It does change the volume. It does change the volume. What I did notice though is when I put it on the trigger, on trigger two, I don't know if this is how Quadrox is supposed to work, and I put it on output two, there's quite a difference. So it seems like the triggers work differently. Um, I'm not sure how that is. Trigger one, two, three, and four. But trigger one seems to modulate volume um, of the um, oscillator. I could be wrong. But um, trigger two, an output two, output two is going to the one volt per octave on my anti oscillator. And the square wave from Batumi is going to the trigger, right? So if you listen, see how it's modulating it? Like crazy, right? But I notice in trigger one and out one, it doesn't do that, which is really interesting. Um, now, if I take that trigger and I use the uh, variegate, let's see how it goes. Variegate, see what it sounds like. So now it's kind of dead. The very okay, there we go. It's dead because I was using one and it's connected to two. And it's been a long day. Okay, now it's, so I think maybe it's just my lack of knowledge on this module. I'm new to it. But now it's starting to work like an attack decay trigger. And it's working, I have my variegate. So LFO is somewhere. So this is just the, but if you switch modes, I'm gonna mute these. I like this mix up. This is a great little mixer. So like that's like a attack. <clears throat> that's like an attack decay. That's the fall. 
That sounds kind of cool. So see how it's modulating, modulating the pitch, the pitch because it's connected to one volt per octave. And this affects the wave. That's kind of cool. And then this is a wave shaper. So you shape the wave. A wave shaper shaping a wave shaper. Because the anti-oscillator is also a wave shaping oscillator. So this middle dial changes the envelope shape. So yeah. There's also a long mode, right? So if you just press, hold this down. Give you some that sounds cool. So now we change this mode. This is the third mode. And then these have like the modes too on the uh, fall side. So I'm seeing already how I can use this in my patches. I wasn't using it right before because I didn't know what I was doing. And that's burst mode. So that's like a fire and a burst gun. Kind of nullifies it a bit. That's the free LFO mode. That's kind of cool. So you guys can create like a bunch of melodies with this function generator and this one oscillator. If I molt it. Ace. If I change that back to how it was. If you long press it, it flashes. It gives you some additional features. We're back to where we started. So yeah, this is pretty awesome. I'm, I read through the manual and the videos and I just figured out the main thing is you got to patch a trigger, a clock, or an LFO or sequencer gate to the trig. Um, so you got four trigs, but this seems to only be sound. I got to ask support about that. Three, I'm not sure the difference is. Um, four, I got to read up on it. But I noticed this will modulate your sound and volume, almost like a VCA if I'm understanding correctly. And this is, you. this actually does real modulation of this stuff. That's why I was having trouble with, because I wasn't like really noticing any change in trig one and output one, but in trig two and output two, I was getting really cool stuff. And then like on my other modules, these have so many patch points you can modulate. So with this, it can create melodies. And with the Quadrex expander, you can do all kinds of stuff. So it sounds, you can take one complex oscillator and make a song out of it. It's amazing. And if you filter it, it sounds even cooler. And then Kermit and the, so forth. So yeah, and then you can just mult it. But anyways, yeah, I was, I, I'm getting the hang of it. It took a little while. It's kind of a tricky little module, just like Kermit and Bionic Cluster are tricky modules. But the slope generator is tricky too. But anyways, I hope you find this educational. So those are the different modules. And then we'll have to get in, once I learn how to, the CV assignments, if you got a bunch of stuff, I'm trying to figure out what you patch in the C, B, A, B, C, and D. Uh, what control voltage sources you would patch into those. Because it's not really clear in the manual from IntelliJ or videos what you would pa patch into that. I need to figure that out. But I just want to get handle on the trigger and outputs and how to use it like an envelope or a function generator. Because that's what I really wanted to know. I already have an envelope generator on my first setup, but um, and it works good as an envelope, but this is more of a function generator, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, so you can you definitely see all the cool stuff he's doing. I mean, you just change that. So you can do one or both. So now it's like a drone. So if you set this to new, the attack is shortened. Longer. That's pretty cool.
No, it's more like this. That's pretty trippy. So you shorter rise. That's kind of almost like an attenuator. Seems that way. It's the third mode. See how long it takes to decay. So if you're trying to do a slowly evolving patch. That's pretty cool. And it's in burst mode. Back to where we were. Now if you just do this, see so if you can mix it up. That sounds pretty cool. It's like Kermit, I can play with this for hours for right now. Long press it to get the... So you change that shape the wave. That's kind of cool. That's cool. That's the uh, crazy alpha. You get the extra hidden function. I tell you, that's a crazy oscillator. Interesting. <clears throat> so you just get a drone. Anyways, I just want to share what I learned from working with this, just breaking it down to one patch with one oscillator and one trigger so we can under explore different modes of quadrax and then once I get more experience and I understand how these CV inputs work and better understand these, and I can do some more complex patching and and uh, create some fun melodies with my setup. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this.